If you have to dig trenches as part of your job, meet the tool you never knew you needed. G'day, I'm Tim Thompson. Let's review the Geo Trencher. So our first job is not running water pipes and it's not running 240 volt. It's running some Gallagher highly conductive ground wire between two posts and a gateway. It's gonna keep the horses in place. Make sure you use high capacity ground wire when you do this. We're gonna dig the trench, which is normally a horrible job, to 400 mil, meaning that even if we scrape an implement through the gateway, we're not gonna wreck our fence. But first, of course, speed dealers, mufflicators, and just in case it's a council job, you need a safety vest. Starting this little devil's remarkably easy. Prime it, decompression lever, pull out the choke, choke off, Now the Geo Trench is a New Zealand invention that's locally supported and basically the Geo Trencher part is from here down. And the reason why it's mounted to a cutoff saw rather than a chainsaw is that the cutoff saw has a clutch system. So if you hit a rock or a sharp object in the ground, you're much, much less likely to break a cutoff saw than you are a chainsaw. Uh, they originally were made for chainsaws, but they've moved away from them and they're onto the cutoff saws now and they haven't looked back. You can actually get a range of brands for your power head as well. You don't have to stick with Echo, although this is the one that Geo Trencher recommend. It seems to work the best with their product. Cable in the slot with full insertion in under two minutes. Have you ever been able to run a ground wire so easily? All right, next challenge is to dig a trench from that gate post across the laneway to that gate post and then across the gateway to that gate post. We'll see how fast we can do this in one continuous shot. Kinda heavy on my shoulders, tracking down some moments back in time. I could swore that I was in it, down to every minute. Don't know what I was sipping, but I felt like I was doing fine. Oh my. Turns out that I just got a little bit south, just a little bit north of the Georgia line. So four minutes and 43 seconds to dig two trenches, one across a laneway, one across a 12 foot gate. I don't think you'll do a trench 400 deep by hand that quick. And getting a tractor in there, as you know, always a little bit difficult. So the machine's small and nimble enough to make trenching across a laneway and a gateway super easy. And I've got it done in just over four minutes. That's pretty impressive. But what about when we want to trench a longer section, like say this 50 plus meters trench here? My back's going to get a bit sore. Turns out Geo Trencher got you covered on that one too. All I've got to do is put it together now. Just lay it out like you think it should go, and that's how it goes. The other good thing was I was able to use only the tools supplied with the kit and they're pretty good quality. I'll probably throw them in the toolbox when I'm finished. It's time to buckle up, Spanky. Let's get some trenching done. Turns out that I just got a little bit south, just a little bit north of the Georgia line.
The other advantage of the trolley is that it dampens a lot of the vibration. The back harness is well padded out with a solid block of rubber and the hand grip provides complete vibration isolation for the operator. To be honest with you, the main problem with using this thing all day would be boredom. It's just so easy to use. Even with the trolley attached, the light weight of the geo trencher makes it easy to set up simple cuts underneath fences and the top bar above the blade means that digging under a fence is not a problem at all and I was able to do a tee offset for two water troughs at the end of this line without any major dramas at all. So summing it up, over 65 metres of trenching within an hour dug down to 400 mil. The chain has barely moved at all. I haven't had to adjust it. I did have a small rock jam it at one stage. It took about five minutes to fix. That wasn't a problem. The Drio trencher went through around about two to three litres of two stroke to do all of this trenching. So you do need a spare fuel supply in hand. And it's not too loud, but I wore PPE. You know, that's what you do these days. Um, it comes with a spare chain that's been well greased and oiled. So I would suggest considering the wear that I've seen on this chain now on two jobs, you've got a lot of chain life that comes with the pack. You get some fantastic tools and they're really good quality and they cover everything you need with the machine except for this little jobby here you'll need a socket set to adjust your protection bar and you get not one but two sets of instructions so that's lovely the trolley is an absolute must-have um, i would not have been able to do this job comfortably bending over and using my back to pull the machine you literally just lean into the harness and adjust the dig with your right hand while you keep the throttle on. Your left hand's free. It's just a phenomenal little machine. Get one. Oh, and hey, if you like this content, don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe, and I do have a Patreon. See you next week.